Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here from Brunch Boys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It's lovely seeing all you beautiful faces every single day. If you're new to the channel, this is all about my food adventures all over the world. And today we're doing a little series I like to call hashtag never end the Japan content. It is where I'm on the search for the best of Japan outside of Japan. And today we are at Tempura Matsui, uh, which is actually a Mission Star Tempura restaurant right here in New York City. But we're actually not here to eat tempura, which is, I know, kind of wacky and crazy, right? I'm actually here to try their matcha soba, which is handmade every single day. So we're actually here on a day where they're closed. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna see how the chef prepares the soba by scratch, by hand, and then we're gonna eat because I am ready for some Japanese food. So let's go inside, let's do this. I'm just absolutely fascinated to watch a chef actually prepare the soba noodles. I think what I love about Japanese food, no matter what Japanese food you're eating, is just like the preciseness and the exactness and the care and effort and everything that goes into something that could be so simple. You saw like it wasn't that many ingredients go into this dish, but the preparation, the technique, getting everything just right has to be perfect for this dish to be perfect. And it's just like, I, I'm in awe watching him prepare those noodles, which is just like such a special feeling. And like, I, sometimes you realize just how lucky I am. People think like it's fun getting free food and whatever, that's cool. I think though it's that like these experiences that I actually get to see these chefs in action, which is truly the coolest part for me. Okay, so next up with these noodles is that they're gonna go take a quick boil, just like one or two minutes, and then it is time to eat. Now, one thing I mentioned to the chef is that I'm very bad at slurping. I tend to choke. I'm gonna try and slurp. So chef's gonna give me a very quick lesson on how to actually eat the noodles, slurp properly, and then I'll give it a try. And I'm ready to eat. So first of all, the uh, the soba need to the without dipping anything. Just it's gonna be tried to the only soba with. So tasting flavor. And then after that. Soba going to the yeah, but not everything. It's gonna be the sixty percent or eighty percent. Then to make a noise. So this is the Japanese the way it's tasty and uh, it's coming also the flavor to the when you making the the strapping. Its flavor is coming to the also from the nose. After that, if you want the some uh, wasabi, it's gonna be going to over here. It's more better to like this. 
Put that into the bomb. Uh, Set it on inside. So, different way. And also, basically, whatever people like dipping the mix with the wasabi, that's it's okay. Oh. How do you? Hmm? I always tend to almost choke when I'm slurping. What's oh. the actual technique to slurp uh, and not dying? I have never taught those things, but all when I was a kid, my parents doing like that and then I do so so it's I don't know how <laughs> this is be bored Japanese <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be it's like a so that's the word, the way to the having a soba cool. uh, okay so I got my smoking lesson let's see if I could actually do it properly here so First thing is taste it on its own. I think I felt it that but <clears throat> I mean I think like with that bite you're getting just like the pure essence of the noodle, which is really good. It lets you appreciate the flavors. You know, you get sort of like not overpowering matcha, but you're definitely getting the aroma, which is the idea of slurping, which I so kind of failed at. But we have a couple more tests. So now let's try the dipping. I said 60 to 80 percent dip in there. So <laughs> let's go there. All right. Still fails. But I think I'm getting better. Lots of practice. <laughs> okay, so the sauce is just a soy sauce with some fish broth. Nice, like savory, salty notes. Really balances well with that matcha flavor in the noodles. So then, like a little wasabi in the noodle taste. It's really nice when you have such amazing wasabi because you're, it, the aroma is so strong that you're almost getting flavor before it even hits your mouth, which is so crazy. So, okay, one last bite. Wasabi with the noodles and the sauce. Let's try that. <clears throat> one last chance for me to slurp properly. 60, 80, okay. Oh, well, I'm still there and slurping, but it's absolutely amazing. It's just like such a beautiful balance of flavors going on in every single bite. You're getting different experiences with every single bite, but with every single bite, nothing is overpowering it to the next one, which I think is so, which, which I think is so beautiful. So, I'm happy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so one last thing. Uh, chef brought out actually the broth that the noodles are boiled in, and you're supposed to just pour it right into the sauce. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like super white and viscous. And then just drink that. Mmm, it smells good. Ooh, that's just like the most like, it has like a creamy and rich and really just like delicate flavor and mouth feel. I know, every time I say that I hate myself, but that's really what it is. Mmm. That's good. And a perfect way to end the meal. So, this is what I want you to do. If you like the video, subscribe, that's cool. Like the video, like, like, actually like it. And hit the button like, that's also cool. Um, comment below, let me know what you think about this place and where I should go eat next. And share the video, all those things. Mm. This is delicious. Mm-hmm.